What's up guys, iOS 11.1 Beta 2 has been released with some awesome features I'd love to share with you in this video. Now, first off, I just wanna say I am deathly sick. It's as bad as it sounds, and I apologize for that in this video. So uh, in any case, I did wanna share this awesome update with you. It comes in around 175 megabytes, so pretty significantly sized update, and it brings some awesome, well-needed features like new emojis. Okay, well, maybe not that one, but this one is awesome. They brought back the 3D Touch Edge multitasking gestures. So it works a little bit differently now and the animations make it look really neat. So first off, you just go straight to the other uh, app you were using just with a swipe. Really cool, really flat little animation. It also works like this. You can 3D touch on it to go into this stage and then 3D touch on it again to go into the entire app switcher. And that overall works exactly like it did before. Really cool, nice and intuitive. It'll be nice on the iPhone 10. So this was a feature Apple removed temporarily and they said they'll bring it back and here it is. Now next up is new emojis. Apple's added a ton of new emojis in the new keyboard. This is part of Unicode 10. So I believe there are 56 total and it includes a bunch of new ones. So I'm gonna try and separate the ones you guys need to see, but there's a puke emoji, there's a vampire emoji, a brain emoji. Let me go ahead and make a list real quick. Right, and right here is most of them, so I think that might be a little bit more than 56. A lot of the older emojis have been tweaked as well, mostly the animals. Uh, for example, the octopus, the dolphin, and the whale have all received little tweaks to make them a little less realistic, which is weird because Apple went in the realistic direction a little while ago. But here are the new emojis. Kind of cool, I will be seeing them in iOS 11.1 on a wide scale release. Also compared to the first beta, reachability has been fixed. It now no longer overlays the dock, it goes behind it as it should. So nice change there. And within the settings, within emergency SOS settings, you'll see a new countdown sound here. So you can optionally disable that if you don't like the sound one enabling that. And a lot of iPhone 7 users have reported portrait mode lag inside of the camera, which has been fixed now. So you'll no longer get lagging, uh, weird issues inside of the portrait mode. And this has been brought to my attention recently, kind of interesting, but uh, the freeze bug on the lock screen still works here. If you go ahead and hold the power button and then go halfway and click the power button, your device will freeze up and nothing will work. And this is still working in the latest version of iOS 11.1, just interesting little tidbit. All right, and lastly, just wanted to run a geek patch real quick, see what the performance numbers are, but it seems like it's getting better slowly uh, with time. I just ran an every iPhone comparison speed test before I got sick and uh, it was pretty good. It got better, definitely. I've been noticing that iOS 11.1 seems to run a little bit more stable. So in a moment here, I'll be right back. So this is the score I got on 11.0.2 and the one I got on 11.1 beta 2. So not too far off, a little bit behind, but pretty close there in terms of numbers. Feels good. Definitely not something I would use on a daily just because of the beta tag, but definitely getting closer to final release. So there it is, guys. iOS 11.1 beta 2. Stay tuned for more updates on this, but seriously, an update I am really looking forward to. Peace.